Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to First Contact Archery. This is Anthony. Uh, today I'm reviewing my Vista 35. This is the 2021 model. The only difference between this one and the newer ones is the cable guard. This is a sliding cable guard. Uh, I really wanted to get my hands on one of these. I ordered a Vista 35, one of the newer ones, and I was so amped up that I, I figured why not order one of the 33s since there's a lifetime transferable warranty. Um, I've had uh, I've been in contact with Athens Archery, and it seems like every time I call, I get a hold of the owners, which is super cool, and they've been extremely helpful. If you've seen one of my last videos, we had I had a release malfunction, and it kind of blew up the uh, blew up the bell. I had to put new cams um, and everything on it, so we just got it rebuilt. I gotta say, I am just dumbfounded at the level of customer support there is with the Athens line, or. Athens Archery in general. It's not too often you can call a company and the owners answer. Um, I guess that's a testament to you know being a slightly smaller company but they're growing fast. I had a chance to talk to them and they said they were inundated but they still answer the phones. So I have this um, I have this set up right now. I just got it all set up today at 28 and a half inches. It's at 70.2 pounds. I haven't chronoed it. Um, it's not something uh, that uh, I'm really super interested in as long as I can reach out and sling some arrows um, at distance I'll be all right right now I'm setting it up with the gold tip airstrikes uh, they're cut kind of short I've been testing if I'm gonna run with this setup for for tack this year or not like I said I have a 35 coming in uh, we'll see how much I like that this bow just it draws so smooth the biggest thing for me is the comfort level for it this bow draws similar to the new Hoyts, is the way I would put it. It's similar to the new Hoyts, but smoother. And the best way, I, the best way to explain it is I just called it buttery. It's velvety. Um, it's it's smooth. It sinks into that back wall. The back wall is solid. When you, there's a, a touch of hand shock, dissipates super quickly uh, when it's bare. You throw these stabilizers on, throw a couple items on there, it's gone. It's it's like it's not even there. And it. Just, it it's just as competitive as any other bow out there. I was a little worried when I first got this that I had been putting Athens on a pedestal because I heard so many good things about it. I had spoke to Nate Sellers at Average Jack Archery who does a fantastic review um, of this, I believe the 33 and the 35. He's the one that kind of sparked our interest, spoke to him, and you know he said it was the real deal. So I was yeah, got to try it out. So I was, I was excited to get my hands on one of these, and I figured why not buy one used? since it's a lifetime transfer warranty I did it came in and I was a little nervous because I didn't know what to expect and I was afraid to be let down I will honest to God say and I have really high standards um, this this bow just the fit and finish the draw cycle the back wall is amazing the, the it's just such a great bow it's so comfortable you know it's a 33 inch bow which for me you know if I'm hunting I'm a shorter guy I'm like 5'6 like five, 5'7 six, five, it it's I want a shorter bow, but the 33, it's it's just so lightweight and smooth and comfortable that it doesn't feel like a bigger bow to me. Um, I really like it a lot. And when I said the back wall, the big thing for that back wall is it's super adjustable. They have these draw stops that are super adjustable, if you can see right there. You can adjust it to, uh, you know, 85, eight, or 85, 80, 85, and 90. Um, that's, it's really cool. You just take the bolt out. Pop that off, switch it, pop it back in, which allows you to micro adjust your draw length. So you can start working in increments. So if you're someone like me, depending on the bows, I bounce between you know, 28 on some bows, 28 and a half, 29 on others. Uh, but the 29 might be uh, 28 and a half, a little too short. 29 is just a little too long. These draw stops allow you to you know mess with that and really really dial this bow in. And uh, I'll give you a little. Give you a little test right here. You can hear how quiet it is. We're in my basement shop right now, so you'd imagine it's pretty. Uh, it's going to be loud if the bow is loud. You should be able to hear it. It'll reverberate a little bit. But let me give you guys a shot. So first of all, the draw cycle. It's super smooth, easy to draw, 70 pounds, and it just sinks right there. There's no big dip, big hump. It's it just sits there. And if I want to let it down, it's super easy. But you gotta. It wants this. It wants to go, but it also will stay, and you almost have to push forward to get it to let down. And it's super controllable. I, it's not jumpy. 
he's not jumping. I know my, my Matthews and sometimes my Hoyts at 80 pounds, they, they want to rip and they want to go. This one will sling arrows with the best of them, and it's the cam system on this is just it's butter. It's so smooth. I really like it. So let me rip a shot for you guys. See what you guys think of the sound. Pretty quiet, right? I'm, uh, I'm running, you know, bigger bars on this, trying it out. Like I said, setting it up for tech. I've got some Bomar tape on it on the grip. The riser, the riser design is awesome because your hand's right up against the riser. And there's a little cutout on the side for, your, you know, when you're grabbing it for your fingers, you can hear where the, the gap between the tape and, my, uh, and the riser. It's, it's great. I love the grip. It's probably my favorite grip yet. I really like the Hoyt grip, um, the new, the new bows. But it's not against the riser, so touch inconsistent, I guess. I don't, I'm fine with either one. But this one is by far my favorite grip. The bow is comfortable. It looks great. I can't speak enough about the fit and finish. The fit and finish on this thing is, is just unreal. I, you know, I've had almost every bow out there. Uh, I'm, pre I'm prior military, so I'm very particular about the details. Between the, the way the bow shoots, the cam system, how manipulative it is. I can you can incrementally adjust it. It's quiet, no hand shock. It's just I'm pretty blown away, and I can't believe how small the company is right now. And they said they're growing. Of course they are because they're making some awesome bows. But it's just amazing that you can get a product like this in, in today's age and call and speak to the owner. So you know, kudos to. Uh, Everybody at Athens Archery, this is a, uh, a bow that I had on a pedestal for a while, and I was really afraid to be let down, and it lived up to the hype. Um, if you want to have uh, see another review, Nate Sellers, like I said, he's uh, average, he's runs Average Jack Archery. He does some really in-depth reviews. He'll tell you about the, the draw cycle as well. The big thing I wanted to put out there is that I've got this loaded up with the Epsilon, you know, high-end, the black gold, the bee stingers. I mean, it's it's loaded up as most people would load up their bow, and uh, it's just amazing. I had a whisker biscuit on it before, still great. I mean, it's just such a great bow. So I, you know, I really recommend um, if you can get to a dealer, try one of these out, shoot it a couple times, you know, blind shoot it against a couple other bows, and you close your eyes and have them just hand you a couple bows, and this being in the mix, and you shoot it and see which one you like. I think everybody'd be surprised that you know the company that. Sh shipping bows direct to consumer, um, not at a dealership. You can get them at dealerships, but you know, you can buy them and have them shipped straight to your house. It's just crazy that this bow is as good as it is. It blows me away. Um, I hope it does you guys too. If you have questions, please reach out, hit me up. Uh, happy to answer in all any and all questions. And if you like this video, you want to see more, like and subscribe. Thanks guys. See you later.